we're back. We're back. Welcome, creating to, you in the universe. Yeah, with myself, Leah, and Sandra. Sandra. Today we are talking all about gratitude. Gratitude to me can involve. It's almost like it's a little bit of magic, you know. Um, it's had magic impacts in my life, and I'm really looking forward to talking about gratitude and all the different aspects of gratitude, even like the shadow aspect. You know, if there was a shadow, I think Sandra's got some really insightful things to share. What's about, a shadow? Explain like that. Like a shadow, like, you know, shadow side of things. Like how there's lights and shadow. Like gratitude, it might portray all the happy, just feel this. But like on the flip side, it's okay to long for more. Oh, It's yes. okay to, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. keep wishing and hoping and praying or manifesting whatever it's okay to have desires for things that aren't within your reach right now okay yeah sorry we had a kid and i was like no be quiet please mom's first you know we're mom's (laughs) first over here all right we're gonna keep this one super short we've both got a busy day and um there's lots to say about gratitude but we'll keep it keep it simple Keep it simple. Keep it simply simple. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Okay, so in Canada here, we're celebrating Thanksgiving this coming weekend. So happy pre-Thanksgiving to everybody in Canada. We'll do one for the States or wherever you celebrate, whatever time it is. So it's, how important is gratitude? Very what you bring it what you if you want more of something always think thank yourself for what you have i remember a point in time i think this is where you're bringing the shadow part in because we were talking about this last week or two weeks ago i remember a time when someone was saying well you should just be grateful for what you what you have and i remember going well that's that's because i was not happy with anything that I had. <laughs> so they're like, well, when you're grateful for, for what you have, then more can come to you. And for whatever reason that translated, this is what I heard. When you're grateful for what you have, you get more of what you have. And I was like, but I'm not grateful for what I have. So if I'm grateful for what I have, I don't want more of this, <laughs> right? Like, it makes it, sense. Yeah. <laughs> like, like I so feel much. like as a kid, we make this logic. <laughs> right that adults just can't simplify and kids just see it so clearly and I see you as a young person being like well that doesn't make sense (laughs) and that's valid that doesn't make sense and I think you're right for you know not being grateful for whatever bad shit was in your life right yeah I was all like yeah I don't want any more of this so how can you be grateful so and then realizing that in that same time frame I didn't actually know what being grateful was so I the, the only people like well what is gratitude what, what is being grateful I was like well the only thing I know of being grateful is like oh my god I didn't get in that car accident I don't know what happened what stopped it but oh my god thank god I wasn't in that car accident or something mm-hmm. like to that level and mm-hmm. I was like well how do you do that for like I'm so grateful for the food I eat mm-hmm. well I guess but I've never gone without food at that time, right? At that time, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> go through that. So I was like, hmm, well, I guess I'm grateful for the food. And you always hear people. So I guess the difference was you always see on the, the TV shows and things, all the church people, and I'm, this is a, no offense to anybody. I'm just saying it's an observation as a child growing up. You see them all like, I'm so grateful for the food, blah, blah, blah. It felt really forced or not real or because you say it all the time it felt not authentic okay can i speak to that absolutely please so i relate to that forced gratitude like scraping by because that's where i was a couple years ago um just i don't like words like depression but would somebody else maybe classify me as depressed maybe Mm. i was really um Everything that I desired in my life, I manifested. And on one hand, even to this day, I'm like, wow, I am so powerful. I did all of that. But the thing was, all the things that I desired, all the things that I went out to create in my life and received when I finally got to the pinnacle of what I desired, 
it wasn't how I imagined I'd feel. Yeah. And so I was sitting in what I created and, going, and what is this? struggling yeah. with like, wow, this is everything I desired. Like literally I was, this is really what I, what I wanted. I desired, I got it, I did it. But um, struggling with putting my, like, why do I feel like this? And going and diving deeper. And that's where I think these depressive moments bring us to is a place of more solitude to kind of come out the other end with whatever you're supposed to come out with. Um, Anyways, it got to the point where uh, it was really about being a stay-at-home mom. And it's not, like, even today, I'm so happy I'm a stay-at-home mom. I'm so, so grateful. happy I'm yeah. a mom. Yeah. But there are times when you are in the thick of it and you feel bad for feeling bad. <laughs> and oh, I can relate, girl. <laughs> I just no struggled idea. doing the grind. And mm-hmm. so I was watching Joe Dispenza Rewired because mm-hmm. I like to revisit this. And it, it dawned on me. You know, it's been a while since I watched something educational. And sometimes I find educational helps get me out of these ruts. Yeah. Gives me that inspiration. So like things like creating you in the universe, I could go back and listen to. But in yeah. this case, it was Rewired. And he talked about how if we're going to shift our lives, we can't repeat the same old things. And so for me, that started right in the morning. And I would wake up and what I would start with was like, oh, mm. so expressing the dislike and all the things that I could go into about what I had to do on repeat for my day that wasn't speaking to my soul. Um, and so I had to s- choose to do different based off like rewiring my patterns. And part of that started with gratitude. So every morning it would feel forced, but I would do it. I would start with what I could. And uh, sometimes it would be the warm feeling in my bed, you know, when you're cozy and you don't want to leave and it's that bubble of warmth. I'm like, I am so grateful that I have these nice sheets and I feel so cozy right now. Absolutely. I'm so grateful for a roof. I'm so grateful that we have food because I uh, times were, you know, during this depression, it was during COVID. And even today, there are so many struggles with people making a buy that... <laughs> it really messed people over so me sitting in a position where i don't even have to worry about food i can be grateful for that Mm -hmm. um anyways but it did feel forced at the start so that felt very real but i'm telling you right now with practice and rewiring my brain it didn't take long maybe if we're being generous maybe three four weeks which sounds like a long time, and in the start, it, it, it felt like it. It feels like a, a mountain to climb. But it started to shift into such a joy, and that gratitude really started to show up and change my life. It made me, it made me enjoy that role as mom again. I've uh, been in the same situation with that same feeling, and uh, when we were talking about doing gratitude, we realized that yeah there was a point in time that if 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 all you can do at the at the at throughout your entire day is be grateful for the breath that's in your lungs then take that and be grateful for the breath in your lungs and and just start from there for people who are advanced gratitude people who know exactly what it gives you there still will be times that you might hit a rut as well so i don't know if i said this in the beginning i'm sorry if i did and this is a repeat but being grateful how important is gratitude it's super important what's even more important that uh, there's a step that people sometimes forget or maybe they don't know about it it's even more important to be grateful for things that haven't happened to you yet because that opens up this door to the universe and the universe all of a sudden goes oh shoot they're already thanking me for that i gotta get on that like i'm so grateful for uh your private my private jet or whatever lifestyle you want to choose anyone who knows me it's private jets private islands so (laughs) that's where i'm i'm headed so i'm grateful for wanting those things and i even say that in my gratitude journal i'm so grateful for wanting my private jet i'm so grateful for desiring my private jet i'm so grateful for having my private jet i'm so grateful for all those things because there's a piece of like magic attracts there. like so if i'm depressed and i'm you know feeling all the feels that are depressing um chances are i'm going to see the world through those classes 
and the world will respond and it did and the same goes for the things that are good in our life and i think that's where manifestation can be tied into gratitude uh if you have a good thing going i really encourage having gratitude for those good things because it will just help i feel like it's adding oil to the to the wheel yeah. like keep thing, things going in a smooth as smooth as possible yes stuff comes up that will challenge us but gratitude and the energy that that carries that frequency really does help welcome in more into our lives so just like to i guess express again through what sandra is saying is go into what you feel good about really feel it like today i'm so grateful that i get to be on a property with horses doing things that i love with people that i love where my children are happy and with people that they like there's so much gratitude there i'm so grateful for having the privilege of that drive through that i went through this morning on and on and on get cultivate that feeling of love and gratitude build it as big as you can on all the things that you're grateful for and then start showing in the private jet. I'm so grateful for my private jet. I'm so grateful that today they carry the champagne that I preferred because it's the organic kind and not the stuff with all the... Fa- I'm so grateful that the Just flight attendants... Yeah. yeah, play. Give yourself permission to play. Bask in that feeling. So if you struggle getting to the big stuff, start with a little. Gratitude will take you there. It's the same energy. And if you can tap in to that feeling and that intent then throw in what you desire, it will it will be fruitful. And it might be fruitful in ways that you don't expect because we, <laughs> most of the time you can't go from where we're sitting and then walk off to the private jet. Um, it can show up in different ways that brings you to the private jet. Like the universe works in such divine ways where you will get where you're, where you're going, especially if you have gratitude. I'm grateful for Leah, a great business partner. I'm grateful for this beautiful warm house i'm gonna have a warm house this winter which is huge you have no idea <laughs> <laughs> and i'm grateful for uh we're going in real life so in november we, we set the first week but it'll probably be adjusted but will be november guaranteed we're going creating you in the, in the universe irl in real life yeah. and i'm so excited to offer those courses and it's going to be super fun and keep out if you're in the the uh, Calgary area, Calgary, Calgary surrounding area, area, yeah, surrounding, definitely yeah. surrounding too. Yeah, surrounding for sure. So if you're listening out there, uh, maybe you see us on Facebook, Instagram, um, where you find your podcast. YouTube. Let us know. <laughs> Let us know what you're grateful for. I'd love to hear and share in that joy and that energy that you are grateful for. Uh, one thing I heard someone do years ago, and I I haven't started it, but I'm gonna make it a I'm gonna make it a priority this year. Starting this Thanksgiving every day, I'm gonna write something I'm grateful for to a person in my family, or it might be each of them, and then you give it to them in one year, and so they have 365, or if it's a leap year, um, of things to be grateful for, and start that as being your Thanksgiving tradition. What traditions do you have? Yeah, we can't wait to hear what you've all done, and we wish everybody a, such a blessed, a blessed, a blessed Thanksgiving. Uh, may you enjoy that, whatever that looks like for you, whether that's family coming together, whether that's your crew coming together as a family. Right? Those are the best oh ones. Oh my goodness. Those are the best kind. I've had so many family reunions. Woo. Yeah. Grateful. All right. <laughs> Be blessed. Love you.